Okay, so now that we've cropped down our point cloud to about the extents of our working uh, floor plan, um, what I want to do next is I'm actually going to be using a similar tool as the last video, and we're going to be looking at this directly from the side. And the first thing I want to do is I want to actually take off the lid of this floor because um, we can look at this here in plan view. Um, let's look at this entire point cloud. So I'm going to flip through my views, go to my top, and when I'm looking at this, yeah, it's nice. I can see a lot of information here. Um, actually, if we switch our view to a, um, an, a view based on elevation, and if we look at this from the side, we can see our, our profile from blue all the way up to red, and then starting over at blue again. Um, so if we look at this from the top view again, um, we can see our framing elements up on the top and then um, we can actually see I think through this blue well there's a section of blue at the top and then also blue at the bottom so um, essentially what we want to do is we want to really create some different sections here and I'll show you using the limit box um, the type of view that we're looking to get so I'm essentially going to crop this down and I want to be cropping right essentially to the top of the um, those waffle pans. So by cropping this down and then we look at it from a top view, we can start to really see more information being displayed to us that's really giving us a nice sl slice of this particular floor. So looking at this here, and actually if we switch our view to maybe back to intensity, um, this is a nice, very sectioned down view of this particular point cloud that gives us a really good indication of where all the different beams and, and ribs of this deck are taking place. So that's essentially what we're trying to do with creating these sections. So I'm going to undo my limit box, and we're going to look at this from the side. And so what I want to do is I essentially want to create a section using the segmentation tool of cropping right off the top of this, and I'm going to be using a rectangle. Oops, look at it from the front. So I'm going to start up here, and I'm just going to take the very top component off of this point cloud. And so let's go right about there. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and with that, I'm going to hit the key points inside of this. So um, see what happens so as soon as I do that I can see that it got rid of all the points outside of that but um, our next step here is if we create a point cloud it's actually going to create a separate object over here that we can just label lid in this case um, and we can keep working so we still want to have our object selected over here and we can actually do an additional layer um, similarly to that lid of just highlighting the uh, essentially the structural elements and the top component of this floor. So I'm going to section right through here. I'm going to pick up a little bit of my windows there and I'm going to do essentially the exact same thing. I'm going to keep the points inside this area. And so that's going to section out the other outside and I'm going to save this again. And it's going to create another object and I'm going to call this, in this case, roof framing because uh, level 13 is the highest floor and then the roof is the, set, the, the next floor above. So I'm gonna call that roof framing. And okay, so there we go. So I'm gonna now exit this tool. And so now I have three different components. And I'm gonna enable this one, display cloud. And so I can actually go in now and start overriding these with different cloud colors and right now everything's set to yellow but I'm going to change my lid and we'll just make that like a like a pink and we can change our framing and maybe we'll make our framing like a, a red color so okay so there we go we now have three different layers of this and actually in this next video um, that's pretty much it that I wanted to cover for the segmentation um, in this next video we're actually going to be looking at um, what we have remaining from these first sections that we did. So um, we're actually going to be going in and creating a, uh, a floor, and we're going to let the software run and select the floor out of this 
slab, uh, sorry, out of this point cloud, and we're going to pull out the, the slab that is essentially the floor. So um, stay tuned for the next video coming right up.